so what I'm doing right now is building the forms for the concrete there. We just had uh, Home Hardware Arona there bringing some wood, extra wood here, so I was running a little short there. And uh, what I'm doing right now is putting these uh, forms together here. It's going to be uh, 27 feet long on both sides. So I'm going to build it in two sections and then tie the two together. And then the front and back walls are uh, 21 feet wide, so I'm going to do something similar there. And then uh, got all this three quarter inch plywood that I ripped up earlier that you guys watched in high speed there that are going to be tied onto these forms and stick up just an inch higher than that level of the concrete. So we got a nice clean edge with the clean, sharp, uh, straight edge on those sheets. And uh, yeah, I got enough wood to do all my forms now and a little bit of wood to start framing the front wall once we put things together. So yeah, everything's falling into place here and coming together. It's kind of funny how motivated you can be when you're doing something you're passionate about. Like this is hard work and something I don't do all the time, right? Like digging in like this, but uh, knowing what the final result is, is just keeping me driven here. So the next few weeks, I'm gonna have to keep that motivation strong here and uh, just keep plowing, man. My dream studio coming to life, coming to fruition. So I'm gonna have a little beer break here and get back and try to knock out a few of these forms before the sun goes down here. Jeremiah here again with another studio build update from the Undergum Productions compound. So I got all those forms dragged over this morning and uh, screwed all my plywood on, got them into place there. We got everything packed down uh, the way we want it and carved in the way we needed it last night. And uh, so what I did is uh, we had a laser level here. We made sure everything was bang on level and bang on square because there's not much room for error with these Quonset huts, with the foundation, it's a big important part of everything. So I went around and braced everything to hold all that weight of the concrete there. I ran out of spikes, so I got a buddy bringing some more tomorrow so I can uh, finish the front and finish this side, but everything else is pretty much uh, snug, solid, and secure. Definitely another good day, just working, grinding and uh, seen lots of wildlife, lots of birds came in today. We had a whole flock of ravens, whole flock of crows, just making a madness. We heard the coyotes yipping there. The laser level has uh, had like a beep, right? So it tells you if you're bang on or not. And uh, we think that frequency there uh, got them going. It was great in the background, like a whole pack of coyotes. And over here across the neighbors there, he's got his horses out in the field, which is kind of nice country setting right and uh here in the middle of it all we're building the we're building the studio and i've been thinking about different names too like i got this weeping willow here which is my favorite tree on the property and then right here my second favorite tree on the property is this diamond willow so uh, i was looking on the internet and different names and there is actually a weeping willow studio but i was thinking uh, something maybe with that incorporated there or like all the Ravens, uh, I was thinking maybe Ravenhead Studio, something like that. But as I'm working, I'm sure the right name for this studio will definitely come into play. And uh, yeah, we're doing it and it's happening and I'm just going to keep grinding here. So uh, there's today's update, just building the foundation. The foundation's got to be built right, right? Build it right from the ground up. So until tomorrow, keep rocking everybody. Cheers.